Hey guys, welcome back to Douglas's Model Garages videos. And I just just gonna show you some uh, deals and some kits I found. And some were very of an unusual place where I found one of them. So um, let me just show, get get that one first one to show you. So the first one I found was the uh, Mac Bulldog uh, log truck. So this was found at Joanne Fabrics, I think it was called. And they had it for like uh, $29.99, which uh, I gotta say is a very good price on that. And uh, if you guys have a Joanne Fabrics in your area, check their place out for the model kits. They have the Lancis kits now. And they may have leftover paints, I'm not sure. Some do and some don't, and some may have some leftover uh, Urzel kits. So that's number one right here. Okay. I went to my local hobby shop, uh, Bad Owls, which is in Millbury Heights, Ohio. And uh, uh, to get back onto the uh, kind of plane thing I'm kind of in right now, that I'm doing with the... Academy Mini Craft Bowen 747. Uh, I end up finding this kit right here. So this is a uh, Junkers J. Baba, Baba, down, <laughs> down, buddy. <laughs> All right, edit, cut. All right, good, Cassie. All right, so this is the Junkers uh, J. U. 2052. And, um, this is, uh, from 1979, Tester's, uh, Italri kit, I think. And, uh, I know Mad at Model Car Videos does a lot of, gets a lot of the, uh, Tester's kits. And the price I got this for was, uh, 10 bucks at the local hobby shop. And what I read on eBay, I don't know, it's not the best price to get prices on kits. But they're usually going for like 19 plus shipping. So probably about 30 bucks out the door or at your doorstep. So uh, I found this pretty cool kit. So, and then found a, a vintage MPC kit. It's the P61 Black Widow. And this is actually 10 bucks for two kits. And this is actually made in 1982, which is very unusual. And what I've read in the directions of it, it has working landing gear. And it'd be kind of fun to build both of them because, or to build both to see how they come out. And if there's any different versions that can be made out of it. Or maybe just do a, uh, maybe one as a army and one as navy or something like that. So... And uh, just want to show you what I found so far. And give me one second, I might have one more here. So I, uh, I, that was not just all I found so far. So I did find a few more, which um, I was looking at. And um, with all the different YouTube builds of it, and I figured it'd be a nice vehicle to try to build. And since I, kind of do like Nova's not really a big Chevy guy but I do like Nova's and Corvettes so um, I thought I would get one of these which is a very cool kit has uh, a lot of the gasser parts I currently have a special project with the underpinnings of one of these going in it so uh, this is uh, one kit I found at uh, Hobby Town and there's a price right there for 36 bucks. It's a well worth kit with all the goodies inside. And the one day I went to a uh, IPMS Lorraine Chapter uh, hot, um, model meeting. And after the model meeting, I went to a local hobby shop in the area, which is in Elyria, uh, called The Hobby Shop. So found the 76 custom Corvette or known as the uh, old uh, AMC Ertzel Eckler kit 
which uh, Eckler made uh, custom Corvette packages with engines. And I'm not sure of how long he did these or if he's still doing them. So, but this is another one I found. And I am kind of a Corvette guy, like I said. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, thanks for uh, watching. You guys have a good night. Uh,